Hey guys, welcome to Matt Does Stuff. Uh, I've got some more stuff for you today. Uh, today is part three of my garden renovation. I'm not sure how many parts because I'm not actually going that fast, so it could be like part 103 soon. But anyway, today I've got, um, I'm finishing off the raised beds I started um, a couple of weeks ago. So putting the top layer of uh, bricks on uh, of one and building another. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got for you today. But obviously before we start, um, pop over to the kitchen because I've got some pork breast ribs going on the barbecue today. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, today I've got some uh, pork breast ribs to prepare for uh, putting on the barbecue today. Uh, so this is uh, a slab of pork breast rib. Um, they've got classic ribs there. Well, I think what they end up with is much more meat on the bone, the cut like closer to the belly, as I understand it. Um, either way, they look really meaty uh, and delicious. Um, I think, I don't know whether you'd slow braise these normally, but I'm obviously going to smoke them. Uh, but what I am going to do before I start is remove this sort of like papery, thin uh, bit of fat off the back um, and then uh, We'll get them rubbed up and just get them on the smoker. In order to lift this uh, papery bit of skin up, I use a uh, blunt knife and just lift it under it and, in, and underneath, and then you should just be able to uh, tear it away. It should come apart with a bit of pulling. like that and then that leaves so there's a little bit more left on there so I get my, my knife in underneath so I've just got a um, bit of kitchen uh, cloth just to help me grip the fat a bit better and then there we go so that's turned away like so so just quickly wash my hands and then we'll get some rub on so with that paper bit of fat removed, uh, now gonna get some rub on these. So what I've got in the bowl is um, some paprika, salt, black pepper, brown sugar, onion granules, garlic powder, mustard powder, and a bit of oregano. So give those a big uh, stir around, get them all mixed up, and then, um, That's ready to go on the... Uh, on so I'm going to be using a bit of olive oil um, for just as a binder. So um, just spread a bit of that on. Uh, I'm going to try not to touch the pork with this hand so I can touch all the other implements. So get the olive oil all over. like that on all the sides and then um, we can apply the rub so spread liberally all over the top and just uh, make sure it's all patted in and you don't want the rub clumping so just make sure both top and bottom are Excellent. And then they're ready for the barbecue. Um, so we'll get that up to temperature, get these stuck on, and then we'll get on with some stuff. So we're about up to temp on the barbecue, so I'm gonna go in with the pork. So 
I've got some hickory chunks in and they're going to stay on there for quite a while until uh, I reach the internal temperature that I want, which I can't quite remember right now. But let's get back to some stuff. So since I was in the garden last time, uh, nothing has happened. Um, I put this blue tarp over the wall that I built last time just to let it dry. I stayed on there for two weeks. And as you can see, I now have a water feature. Uh, so today I'll probably be trying to finish that off and also building a wall over there as well. Get rid of all these bricks. Um, but first, I've got to empty this pond. So let's get on with that. Okay, so that's the water feature empty. I'm going to mix some cement and then we get to putting some bricks on. So here I'm laying up the um, cement on the, the sort of bottom course of bricks um, and adding the blocks. Um, <laughs> you'll see me using a level periodically in this, uh, in this clip, but um, in reality, uh, I think you can probably see from the video where I've built on the existing wall, that is not level to the earth. Um, so what I've ended up doing is trying to artificially sort of build up a bit of the cement so it's not as level as it could be um but the intent was there i tried so here i am um cutting uh the blocks here to the shape that i need in order to fill in the sort of gaps um that are left or the one or to fill in the gaps that didn't um need a whole block uh, i'm using the same technique as I used um, in one of my previous videos when I was cutting slabs, uh, essentially marking all the way around and then in a bit uh, and then using a hammer and a bolster to just cut through them um, and I keep doing that uh, until it breaks and you get a nice uh, clean, well I say clean line, you get a nice, uh, a nice line um, in your brick.
So here I'm laying out the um, bottom layer of bricks uh, and using my, oh, it's actually a roofing square, just to get the um, wall level, uh, something I didn't do uh, on the previous one, which was follow my line. So on this one, I've marked the line on the patio slabs. Um, and now I'm going to um, just put some con uh, put some cement in and follow that line uh, with my bricks um, to build the first layer. Uh, I've not taken the soil out of this this one. It's been in there for years, which is why it's holding together quite well. Um, I don't think that'll affect the the build of the of the wall uh, at all. So we've got the um, second course of bricks on this planter. I think that's as high as I'm going to go on this one. You can see I've tried to straighten up my mistake from last time. Um, which does mean I've got a bit of an overhang down here, but I'll pick that up in the, in the render. But overall, pretty happy with that. I have also built this guy, which is just another planter. Um, and that one is much better learned from some of my mistakes over there and once that's dry I'll fill it with soil and plant some plants well I'll render the outside first and then I'll plant some plants halfway through um, looks more like a pork belly than pork ribs but whatever I'm going to give this a spritz with that is um, vinegar, apple juice, and water. Taking the lid off the pork um, to have a check. We are at 75 in zone of temperature. I need to get to 93 uh, so it doesn't take forever. I'm going to give it a wrap. Okay, so that's all wrapped up. I put a bit of um, apple juice in the bottom uh, and we'll see that in, well, probably when that gets to 90. Oh. I need to put the stick back in, rather uh, the probe back in, but when it gets to 90, 92, something like that. Once again, pretty dark outside, uh, but we are now at 94 on the pork, so I'm going to see what that looks like. Well, I'm not. I'm just going to take it off and put it in the cooler and let it rest, and we'll have a look at what it looks like later on. Hey guys, end of another day here on Matt Stuff. Um, so today I've not really achieved a lot really. I've learned again that I'm not very good at building walls, but um, I have managed to get um, my raised bed planters uh, finished, ready for rendering. So I've just covered those over, let them dry. Um, and I've also managed to smoke myself some pork uh, ribs. So let's see what they look like. So, these pork ribs, um, or pork breast ribs, caught me out a little bit. I was expecting them to be a little bit more like ribs, but um, as it is, they are, turns out it's more like pork belly on a, uh, on a bone. So, um, yeah, so I ended up, I was going to do a 3 2 1 uh, cook on these. Um, like I would with a normal set of ribs, but actually, um, in the end, I cooked it more like a pork belly. So, um, they look good though. Just look on one side so you can see. Um, still quite juicy, you can see the, the ribs at the back there. So, I'm just going to cut down in between one. And that 
is some good looking uh, pork rib. So let's see what one of these tastes like. That is phenomenal. That is melt in your mouth tender. Yeah, really enjoying that. Uh, so to go with my ribs, they are smashingly juicy. I just got some classic fries and some slaw. And as always, we're pairing it with beer. Uh, can be any beer, but I've gone for left-handed giant deeper water milk steak. So I'm going to go amongst that and uh, see you next time. Remember, stay safe and remember to get some stuff done.